Hello there and good evening. Now I just had to bring you this one. According to a report in the Times, number 10 has discussed crashing the UK financial markets in order to push the PM's poisonous Brexit in name only deal through Parliament. Basically, trashing for Theresa. A tweet from UKIP carries an image of an extract from the Times report that says, If May does survive, her prospects of winning the meaningful vote look bleak. Ministers say Downing Street officials have discussed an equally dark strategy to twist arms. Number 10's plan is to encourage a crash in financial markets after losing a first vote in the hope this stampedes MPs into voting for it a second time, a source who has discussed the issue with May's aides said. A cabinet source said that would be a kamikaze approach. A kamikaze approach? It would be thoroughly unconstitutional and probably use paid employees of the state as well as elected representatives in high office to bring it about. It would damage the UK from business to pensions and weaken our economy at a critical time just to satisfy the vanity of a failing PM. This would be fraud on an epic scale. If this story is true, then the City of London Police should quickly commence a thorough and far-reaching investigation and let that investigation go where the evidence leads it. That body is after all there to protect the people, businesses and infrastructure of the City of London and is leading the national response to fraud. UKIP tweeted, Downing Street officials allegedly discussed encouraging a financial market crash in order to force Theresa May's betrayal agreement through. This is beyond the pale. The Tories cannot be trusted. All those rich Tory voters out there should now be looking at their party in a new light. After all, they would potentially be hit hard by this if it was true. Except, of course, those who are in the know if this is what's going to happen and can time their shorting orders appropriately. Are there no depths to which these people will not sink? Well, tell us what you think by leaving a comment below and thank you for watching.